Is it possible to create an unbreakable 3D print? This 3D printed Benchy is made of PLA and well PLA is as you know breakable. But I discover a material called TPU. What is TPU? So unlike PLA which is very rigid, TPU is a bit flexible and before I got uh, my hands on it myself I thought it was only useful for if you want to make some flexible object but as you see this Benchy it hardly bends at all. Its benefit for me is actually that it's um, yeah, almost unbreakable and we're going to try that in a few different ways to see how we can uh, destroy it or what it's useful for in different kinds of projects. So I printed a few strength testers both in PLA and in TPU, the yellow ones are TPU, and I printed them in two different orientations. So this one is horizontally printed, which is stronger. This one is vertically printed, which means that in the middle is mostly relying on layer adhesion, which even in PLA you can break without too much effort. Um, but in TPU, even the layer adhesion is quite strong. So this one's also uh, printed vertically, standing upright, and the layer adhesion. I can't pull this apart with just my fingers. Maybe if I twist it, I can get it. Yeah, then you can get it to be loose. But it's already quite a bit of effort. And the wall thicknesses of both these parts are identical. But then, of course, for the horizontal parts, where the lines go across the piece, so there's no relying on layer adhesion for strength, PLA gets much stronger. But even then, I can snap it with my hands. Because it's flexible, the TPU, if I just bend it, nothing's gonna happen. I need to pull or twist. But this TPU is so strong, it can stretch up to six times its length without deforming. So I can pull it and it stretches a bit, but then it goes back to its original dimension. Or I can twist it around, spin, 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 and pull. And it won't tear, and it still deforms back to its original shape. And I think if I try really hard, maybe I can get it apart, but I'm not sure if I'm strong enough. <coughs> no, and this, what is this? It's like, it's like three, four millimeters across this, 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 this part. It's ridiculous how strong this material is. Let me try one more time to twist it. I can't get it. Not today at least. Why use TP? I haven't tried yet what happens if I hit the Benchy with a hammer, which I'll do later. But first, I got here because I needed to print hands for my Acrobot and I needed something that was um, yeah, a little bit durable because I knew that it was going to hit on the floor quite often. And I had made my previous robot from. Uh, from PLA, which started to crack up. Like if you look closely at the handles, you see it's breaking here on the edges. And also it had feet that were made out of PLA. I pull it in. I think if I take away the tape, you see that underneath here, there are some, some big cracks. Every time something hits my robot, yeah, it got, it got crushed and crumbled. And I needed something that would not do that. And it was only once I discovered this TPU, this TPU from the grade 98A, it's made by Filamentum and they helped me with a supply of material that they give for free, but they have not sponsored this video. But when I discovered this material, I realized it's a super material and I can use it for all of these parts. And now also on my new robots, all of the handles are now made out of PLA, which means they're all a little flexible, but that's not necessarily a bad thing because it's still rigid enough to be functional, but mostly it's, it never ever breaks. And then as I was designing with it more and more, I realized that the flexibility also is useful mechanically. For example, there's this motor underneath here, which has a gearbox inside. And sometimes there is an unintended load on the motor that puts a little bit stress sideways on the motor, which has a chance of breaking the gearbox. But because I made the part flexible, I can move the motor around and the stress is being caught by the TPU rather than by the motor gearbox. How to print TPU? It turns out that 3D printing with TPU is not as easy as it is with PLA. This is my old 3D printer, an Ender 3. Normally it has the extruder motor here on the back and then it feeds the filament with a Bowden drive into the hot ends. I 3D printed a new bracket so that you have the extrusion motor closer to the end because the material is a bit flexible. Every time you push it in or pull it out, um, it behaves a bit slower, which means that um, you have more drooping material, which gets more stringing and having the extrusion motor up closer made it better. Also, I changed the nozzle size. With 0.4 millimeter, I sometimes got the nozzle clocked and with 0.6 millimeter, I had less trouble. So that's why I switched. And then always make some test prints. 
One of the challenges of printing with TPU is that you need to deal with the uh, overhangs are more difficult than usual. I uh, printed this Benchy way too fast, this one a little too fast. And this one I ended up printing, uh, I think 10 millimeters per second for the, for the outer wall. And also here I have these hands that I printed. You see on the hands I used for the robot, they're still, they're drooping a little bit. And that's because the material is flexible, it starts to sag more easy when you print it uh, fast enough. But if you go really slow, you can get smooth structures. By the way, another nice mechanical property is that you can make these press fits that are near impossible to do with with PLA but with, with TPU because it's like flexibly rips itself around and you get stuck pretty properly and of course a nice thing about 3d printing is that you get to decide how thick the walls are and how much infill you use so here I have something that's a single wall and no infill and it's very very flexible and and move around whereas this is much thicker and it's yeah, it almost behaves like a completely rigid part and you can make anything in between so any amount of flexibility you have it's exactly the same material the same 98a flex film filamentum and it can be completely opposite in how it behaves and then another challenge is uh, stringing here i print a bunch of different stringing stringing tests and then try to experiment with different heats and different speeds my stringing problems got a lot less significant ever since i switched to my new 3d printer the bamboo lab and overall the bamboo lab deals with tpu a lot better than my ender did but it's still a little bit of a challenge because it cannot be printed straight from the AMS. Instead, I need to have it on a separate spool on the side. Another thing, um, TPU needs to be dry in order for it to be printed. It, it soaks up moisture from the air and this is what you get if you print with a wet spool. This is what you get if you print with a dry spool. When I was working with the Ender, I would just pull it out of the bag print with it as fast as I could and put it back straight away. But then when I had my TPU laying around for half a year, then it ended up like this. Nowadays, I print straight from a dehumidifier into the printer, which makes all my prints come out clean. Is TPU unbreakable? But now I still wonder, can I break this Benchy? It's printed with two wall loops. It has a 10% infill, so it's not super strong, but well, it's made of TPU. I have very little confidence that I can break it with a hammer or at least not when I'm holding it with my hands. But I figured maybe if I clamp it in the vise, give it a good squeeze. To begin with, I dare to hit it harder. Uh, it's bent a tiny bit, but I think we need to try harder. One more go. Clamp, clamp, clamp. And there we have it, TPU is not unbreakable. With enough force, um, the thin wall of the Benchy gave way, but I think it's still an amazing material. I'm very glad that I discovered it and I hope you find a purpose for it. I'm using it a lot in my robot. If you want to see more of that, go watch my other videos. Do subscribe also to this channel. And a big thanks to Filamentum for sponsoring the material that I use and a big thanks to Milou for filming this video. And if you want to support me to make more videos and help me to afford uh, friends to help in, you can now um, sign up on Ko-fi and give a donation if you like and otherwise a subscription also really helps. So see you hopefully in the next video so that I can keep on explaining what I do and uh, have a most wonderful afternoon or morning or evening or whatever you're up to. Goodbye. People keep asking about the hair. It's just for me to be able to do this. Can you do this with your hair? Didn't think so. <coughs> Sorry.